G'day, how you all going? It's Wednesday night, 20th of December. I left work and I've driven down to Rubicon. This morning I woke up and I thought, you know what, I'm going camping tonight. So I grabbed my swag, a chair, some sausages, a loaf of bread, and some wheat picks for brekkie, because tomorrow morning I'm gonna get up at 5 a.m., roll the swag up and head back up to work. But just thought, let's just go for a camp. Wednesday night, why not? Perfect weather. And uh, kick back and relax for the evening. So yeah, looking forward to it. All right, what a bugger. The uh, road's closed, hasn't been open, but they're seasonally closed. You normally drive through up Rubicon Road there and check out the power station which I was hoping to show you guys. You can walk through and up I believe but uh, yeah I'm just parked at the gate now and if you continue further up this road it goes right up to a trestle bridge etc. Um, if you want to see a video up there let us know below I'll come back out here and do another trip. I'll head down and do that one it's a really cool bit of history in the area but yeah it's a bit of a shame that uh, this is closed now but anyway So these campgrounds, they're on the Royston River as well. So you continue along this road here, there's some spectacular waterfalls up there, but yeah, unfortunately I can't even share those, pardon me, I can't even share those with you. So uh, I'm just watching for snakes as I walk through this grass here. Saw a good tiger snake at work yesterday while I was doing some uh, mowing and Righto, so I've got my camp spot. There's quite a few in here. When I say quite a few in here, there's quite a few setups here, but not many people. Looks like quite a few people have set up their vans and left. Um, there's a couple of old tents and stuff. Not old tents, but maybe a cheaper sort of tent set up down there in a few spots, reserving the, reserving the spots until uh, the Christmas rush starts in a couple of days time. So in my rush this morning of packing, I've just realized my pillow isn't in my swag. So I'll be using a couple of towels. Um, yeah, that's my pillow for the night. So anyway, I can't remember the last time I actually forgot a pillow. It's been a long, long time, but uh, yeah. A couple of rolled up towels, maybe a hoodie or something. That'll do it nice. I'll put the towels inside a jumper. So there we go, camp set up, chair, swag. I'll get the stove out in a moment, but first I'll uh, pop over the river, which is only like 100 meters away. There's not a lot of swimming holes in this bit just near the camp, but if you go to the far end of this campground there, there's a swimming hole there. It's quite deep and there's some rocks and all pretty cool stuff, but it's a very photogenic river. Well, they all are, but this one here, if you get that, manage to capture those nice slow water moving shots, uh, you get some really, spectacular photos there, anything you Google about the Rubicon area or the Royston River, guaranteed to see those shots there. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna head over there now and uh, have a bit of a wash up. And then think about getting dinner under the way, the uh, fancy sausages in the tip top bread with HP sauce, of course. And uh, no wonder I forgot my pillow, because this is my clothes bag for the night. 
I've never packed a proper bag. I did bring toiletries though. So I've got toothbrush and soap and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's my clothes bag. So yeah, no wonder oh, it's got a change of work clothes for me for tomorrow as well. But uh, yeah, you can see why I forgot the pillow. It's gone super simple. So I got this old, one of my off-road touring life hoodies there. So I got, had one of those just sitting in the back of the car there. So whether go to the scrunch or fold method for this pillow, I think I'll go the fold. So yeah, I'll pop that in inside the hoodie there. And then I'll have my pillow taken care of. Anyway, there we go. Pillows are overrated anyway, aren't they? Pop that in the swag. So this spot here, like I said, 100 metres from camp. So what I'll do now, I'll, I will take you up. I'll show you that uh, swimming hole up the other side of the campsite there. And uh, it's pretty cool. Um, there is a walk that leads through all these campsites as well, which I've done before when I've camped here with Scout and Melinda, my wife, a couple of years ago. I was, last time I was, we were here at that swimming hole, it was a, a bit of a, not us, others, clothing optional swimming hole as well. But right here behind me here is the swimming hole. So uh, yeah, it's pretty deep there. Watch the little ones, of course, if you are uh, here swimming with them, but there's plenty of little shallow pools off to the side anyway to keep cool. And also this campsite and campgrounds along here are closed in the winter time. So they are seasonally closed because they do get pretty boggy and wet. They never used to be many years ago. Um, they've actually had a really good upgrade I'm guessing about six or seven years ago. We used to come in here occasionally and um, it was more like your general bush camping, but now it's pretty formed campsite with um, really good drop toilets and amenities, etc. But uh, yeah, it has changed a lot over the years and probably for the better, more formed campsites. But we did pass through here one time at Easter. Had a mate staying here, so we just ducked through on the uh, Thursday or the Friday night or whatever it was. And the joint was packed to the rafters, but we just used it as a quick stop on our way out to exploring other areas. But yeah, it does get very busy down in here. Heaps of butterflies too, really cool. Now as the sun's getting lower, you'll see the reflection in my glasses there. Now these sites are pretty well maintained and I'll make down there Got his lawnmower going. So he's uh, obviously here for the long haul. Might have to get him down here to uh, do a bit of a tidy up around, around the campsite. But uh, yeah, all right, time for dinner.
sausages are on. How many sausages do you reckon uh, you'd have? I'm having three tonight. I'm pretty, pretty hungry. So they're on. I've got the fire getting ready to set up. Because I'm not cooking on it, I'm going to use the fire pit obviously there tonight. And uh, it's not far past seven. We're in a bit of a valley here, so the sun does go down a bit earlier. And we're close to the uh, summer solstice as well. Alright, so it's about 7.30 now, the sun's gone, you can still see it, it's up on the hill there behind us, but it's gone in the campsite, so that'll be it for tonight, showing you around, if you've got any questions about the campsite, pop it down below, but uh, yeah, tomorrow morning, up at 5, hit the road, not sure how much daylight there'll be in the morning, but yeah, got to get back up for work, so uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this, this is uh, pretty chilled, even though I forgot the pillow, but uh, we'll work that out. It's all good we got that hoodie all sorted um yeah this is great so if you're thinking about doing a spur of the moment trip or even just doing a trip by yourself go out and do it i highly recommend it i do a lot of camping by myself and i know some of you are a little bit unsure about doing it by yourself but yeah just go out and do it you, even though this campsite there's people nearby maybe start out like that if you're unsure about uh camping by yourself um there's still people around but yeah i don't mind just ducking away into the more out of the way spots as well up in the high country or anywhere else where there's no one else around but uh yeah if you want to do it just do it in uh if you're unsure just do it like this a few people around if you need any company you can always wander over and say good day Good morning. All right, so it is now 10 to 6. I'm going to shoot off back to work. I've got to make sure that I get there on time this morning. Thanks so much for watching this quick getaway. Sausages, wheat bix swag, a chair, and no pillow. Pretty simple for a night out. Thanks so much for sticking around. Have a great Christmas. 
and I will see you all in 2024. Thanks for watching and uh, safe travels. Cheers.